So we see that once they were in the plain of Shinar, they uh, started a religion that was fleshly, and uh, they obviously had a very strict religion, that's why it went through the oven, and they had for mortar, they had pitch to sort of keep the world out, but it also kept the spirit out. But what is the city that they were building? Now, we know that the wall, you know, sort of speaks of that religious system. But what is the city? Well, a city is basically a big village, right? Now, we've learned in Genesis 1, 2, 3, that the garden was the man Adam's soul. And we all have a soul. So we all have a garden. So what is a village? A village is one garden next to another, next to another, next to another. So it's a whole bunch of gardens together makes a village. And if it's big enough, it makes a city. So it's a system or a group of people, a group of believers or a religious people that come together. And they build this city and this wall. That is what the city is. It's, a, it's, it's all the souls of those people that were led by their flesh through a very strict religious system. That's the city they built. Now, who is the ruler of this flesh? Who is the ruler of this world? Well, we can read in the Bible to get a clue of who this ruler is. If they want to do it through flesh, there's only one way to get to God. Remember, we serve through Jesus Christ, Him being the only way to God. But that's through Spirit, because God is Spirit and He wants us to serve Him in Spirit. Jesus is the King of everything, but His way is a spiritual way. So if we do it now in a fleshly way, through bricks, there's only one tower or one way for us to get to the heavens, or to make a name for ourselves. Let's read in Luke 4. Then the devil, taking him, this being Jesus, on a high mountain, show him all the kingdoms of the world in a moment of time. And the devil said to him, All this authority I will give to you and their glory, for this has been delivered unto me, and I give it to whomever I wish. Therefore, if you worship before me, all will be yours. And Jesus answered and said to him, Get behind me, Satan, for it is written, You shall worship the Lord your God, and him only shall you serve. So we can see here clearly that the whole world and all the kingdoms of the world, all these fleshly and worldly places, was given to one, that being Satan. This is not being funny, this is nothing strange. God gave him authority over the flesh and over this world. We can also read in John 14 where it says, this is Jesus speaking. He says, I will no longer talk much with you, for the ruler of this world is coming, and he has nothing in me. So the ruler of this world is Satan. Paul also says that often, he is the prince of the air, the principalities, the king of the principalities. The ruler of this world and the ruler of flesh is Satan. Now we can either serve God in spirit, or we serve Satan in flesh. As simple as that. What happens if we have a fleshly religion for God, in the name of God, but it's done in flesh? Then we're doing it through Satan. That is the tower. That is the way to the heavens. Satan. Now Satan has always wanted to be that way. But there's only one way. And that way is through Jesus. The spiritual way. Jesus, the Spirit called the Word of God, that tree of life. He is the only way to God. And there can be no other way, especially a fleshly way, through the enemy, through Satan. 